the Jacob. Why we refuse to see General Adusalami and Sultan of Sokoto, General Aduramani, reviews. The leader of the military junta in Niger Republic, General Aduramani Jenny, has explained why they refused to see the delegation sent by President Bola Metinubu in the wake of the military coup in the country. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The leader of the military junta in Niger Republic, General Adura, Aduramani, has explained why they refused to see the delegation sent by President Bola Metinubu in the wake of the military coup in the country. He said at the point they were angry. Niger News records, as the chairman of the Economic Community of West African State Echoers, Authority of Heads of States and Government, President Tunubu had dispatched a delegation to Niger to end the ongoing political crisis. The delegation was led by the former Nigerian military head of state, General Dusalami Abubakar, and included the Sultan of Sokoto, Alaji Mohammed Sadiq Abubakar III, and the president of the ECOWAS Commission, Omar. However, the military coup leaders refused to see the delegation, and the members were forced to depart empty handed. Speaking in a statement on Sunday, after their own meeting with the coup leaders in Niger, the national leader of Jomartu, Sheikh Adulai Bala, who led a delegation of Nigerian Islamic scholars to negotiate with the junta leader, said General Aduramani narrated that they were angry. According to him, Aduramani explained that it was painful that ECOWAS did not even try to hear their side of the story before ordering sanctions against them and issuing an ultimatum for them to leave office. The coup leader added that they were angry, but he, however, apologized to President Tinubu. General Duramani, however, said it was painful to the coup leaders that the ECOWAS leaders did not hear their side of the matter before issuing ultimatum to them to quit office. He claimed the coup was well intended stating that they struck to say to to staff off an imminent threat that would have affected not only Niger Republic but also Nigeria. He also apologized for not according to the team sent by President Tinubu, led by the former head of state, General Dusalami Abubakar retired. They required attention because they were angry about the echoers sanction the statement quoted him to have said. Meanwhile, people have reacted to this. Why not the stupid delegation meet the year president to solve their own problem first before foolishly going to Niger? Hmm, that is harsh anyway. We can we can uh, comment without insulting people. No matter how how you see these people, they are so elderly. When you are angry, don't speak. If you see news like this and you are angry, the best thing just pass, don't comment. Because some people, they do that in a way. There is no need in certain people. If you don't like someone's ideology, just walk up as. You can as well comment without insulting the person. Everybody, they get their own you know, opinion. You don't expect me to reason the same way like you do. You understand? We understand that these leaders are really frustrating Africans. We understand that fact. But I don't think Adu Salami and the Sultan of Sokoto that went for peacemaking are, are stupid. No matter how you say it, no matter the condition we find ourselves. See, the best way to go about troubled waters is peace. They know they use war, they draw war. It's peace. 
So they did the needful by going there, even when they did not see the leaders, but at least they have apologized. They say they were angry. Okay? We know we have situations in this country. It did not start today. And the situations we are facing today, it did not start today. Just that it's doubling. Not be today, it started, don't they? Before these things will stop, is we, me and you, will stop them. How many are the politicians that will be cheating us? How many are the masses? This is what we should be asking ourselves. They will say, uh, I neck, I neck, rig the election. Tinubu rig the election. I am not saying it did not happen, no. But do you, do you think this rigging just started in Abuja? It started from the polling unit. That is the truth. It started from the polling unit. So, before we start talking, we, we should as well watch ourselves. What are our contributions to all these people, to all these matters? You understand? It's very understandable that people who feel that they are benefiting from the government, they want to protect the interest. They go do on and on, on do. And now everybody is, is suffering it. Like as I said before, and I'm saying it again, how many are the politicians that we cage us? How many are the masses? You know where I'm going. If Nigerian masses say no to this, everybody collectively say no to this, it's going to be no, 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 no. But the situation whereby this one is saying no, this one is saying yes, this one is talking left and right and center. There is no unity. Waiting go play out, go play out. You understand? What we play out, we as well play out. So guys, I beg, make I just drop on for you. What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.